Hey, welcome to Corvid Ed's Garage. I uh, just want to clear the air here a bit. Um, last episode three, towards the end, I was using a 1996 uh, Corvette as an example, which I did receive some backlash on. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Uh, that wasn't uh, meant to be negative on the Corvette. Uh, I mean, I love all Corvettes. Uh, I mean, who doesn't? It's America's sports car. Uh, come on. All, all the C, from C1 to C8, all all beautiful cars uh, in their own way. But uh, um, the only reason it was used for, it actually was uh, using the LT4 motor versus the L98 um, if you uh, if you break it down, the LT4 has a, a uh, uh, iron block just like the L98. Uh, what it doesn't, what the L98 don't it doesn't have, it doesn't have the intake, it doesn't have the aluminum heads, it doesn't have the hot cam. So you throw that all on an uh, L98 and you stroke it out to a 383 you will surpass uh, the performance level of a lt4 i feel the need the need for speed now uh as far as the c4 era the lt4 is the corvette that you want if you don't want to do anything to the corv uh, to a corvette and just want to drive it the lt4 uh, came with 330 horsepower to the fly that pushed that'll put down 300 or I'm sorry 295 horsepower to the ground very respectable horsepower in even in today's world okay with that being said uh, let's go ahead and move on to episode number four let's tear it down episode right after this It's going to look really good. Uh, it's actually going to go with the whole theme of the engine that I'm uh, trying to accomplish here. Uh, so uh, let me uh, go ahead and pull that off real quick and uh, I'll be right back. I love the smell of night pump in the morning. So as far as, as, far as the uh, intercooler is concerned, the center piece uh, right here in the middle of the underneath car where the air dam is uh, at, all that has to be taken off. Uh, so we can install the new uh, uh, Procharger air dam for the intercooler. And I wish I had uh, better video on this, but it's really hard when the car is only jacked up so high. It's jacked up pretty high, so there's a limited room, but uh, you get the message. And there you go. Now we got the uh, area cleared off, um, ready for uh, the next step.
Fuck me, that was fast. Hey, welcome back. Um, yeah, you're looking at a uh, pretty tore down mortar. Uh, actually, it's not really a big deal. I haven't pulled the heads off. Um, but uh, you're probably wondering, I thought you were just installing a supercharger. Yeah, I'm installing a supercharger, but uh, uh, I want to dress up the uh, engine compartment uh, too. Because, uh, you know, if I take it to shows, that engine compartment is going to kind of show a lot of blame. And uh, uh, so uh, the stock valve covers, I'm not really uh, into it anymore. I'm going for that aluminum look. All right. So um, as, as I mentioned before, you take a look at that thing there. I use the uh, Blue Magic uh, metal polisher uh, to shine that up. If, uh, if you've seen pictures of it before, it was really, really dull. Uh, I'm not able to get down to the bottom as, as good as I did the top, but that's going to be pretty much covered by the bracket anyway, so no big deal. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish removing the uh, water pump here. And there's only four bolts that hold the water pump. I got two on one side, two on the other side, but I got to take, uh, I got to move this air conditioning out of the way because it ties into the bracket there. Uh, on this side, uh, uh, on the passenger side of the uh, water pump. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and install the intake. We did have a, uh, um, uh, an issue with the intake. Uh, one of the runners were damaged in, um, uh, in shipping. Houston, we have a problem. Um, I contacted the powder coder and he said, uh, you know, he didn't notice the, uh, the dance. So, um, you know, he went ahead and power coated it, thinking that I already knew about the dents, and then when I received it, it was uh, like, oh wow, uh, this ain't good. So we communicated back and forth, and we, 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 I did an old method uh, that really works well. But the power of Christ compels you! Um, uh, uh, the drawback is that the, the uh, Runner has already been powder coated, so I was afraid that uh, if I popped those dents out, um, uh, they would uh, damage the um, powder coating. But the powder, the powder coater, throughout, throughout the whole time, it, it, it kept telling me, "Don't worry about the powder coater; it's going to hold." You know. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Said, All right, fine. So what I ended up doing is uh, an old trick. Uh, I never done it, uh, but I've heard about it, and some people were successful, some others weren't. So I, I filled up the runner with the two dents in it, uh, filled it up with water, and uh, froze it. So uh, when I pulled it back out, it looked like uh, there was some uh, uh, some some improvement, but not much. You know, because the water expands and the runners are, they're, they're, the tubes are, are really uh, uh, light. So I did a couple more times, I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. Then it did dawn to me, you know, it's aluminum, a thin wall aluminum. Why don't I throw some hot water in that damn tube? And uh, so I got some hot water damn near boiling, I threw it in the tube, uh, I let it sit in there for uh, a minute, I can feel the runner really really hot and I put it into the uh, freezer well uh, now I started seeing some improvement I left it in there for a few hours pull it out I did it a couple more times the dents are completely gone the runners uh, the powder coating on the runners uh, held up uh, I, I, it, it just came out I was successful in it so I have successfully privatized world peace that's how you do the runners in case you got dents in it um, anyway um, and after that, I'm going to put the new, uh, after I put the intake on, I'm going to put the new uh, uh, valve covers on too. Uh, they're aluminum valve covers and they look really good. Uh, I got them from Corvette Central. Uh, I was tr going to get the Holly one, but the Holly, they wanted like uh, 340 bucks for the pair, which I was getting ready to pull a plug on it. Um, but then, here we are about a month and a half, or a couple months later, and now they're, uh, they, they jacked the price up to like 375 Keep the change, you filthy animal. You know what? I, that's, that, that's, not, that's not right. That, that ain't, worth it. ain't worth all that. 
Holly Performance is a good product, man, no doubt about that. But they know it too. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they, they price their, uh, their stuff a little, a little bit too high. So I ended up going with Corbett Central and I ended up, uh, it was 275 for the valve coverage that I got from them. Good job. Um, now I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with those, you know, so I got it for pretty much $100 cheaper. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the end of episode number four. Let's tear it down. Uh, it's still a couple things I need to do on the uh, motor, which is remove the uh, old water pump. And while I'm there, I'm going to go ahead and replace the crank seal on the timing cover. Uh, because once I have all this equipment on, I sure in the hell don't want to have to go back in there and pull that equipment off just to fix something up front of that motor. It's just peace of mind. Um, uh, I, I want it to be a while before I have to do something like that. Anyway, um, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, throw a like in there. And please feel free to comment. Uh, I, I would appreciate it. And once again, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Thanks. Hasta la vista, baby.